wilt thou learn the lore that was long secret of the five that came from a far country? One only returned. J.R.R. Tolkien, Unfinished Tales. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss The Stranger. Who is The Stranger? It's a question that's taken hold of everyone's imagination in the past month or so and seems to be reaching a fever pitch of late. Meanwhile, Tolkien fans are, how do I put this, on edge, afraid of just how much this character, new or old, is going to absolutely destroy whatever little connection is left between the Rings of Power and Tolkien lore. Now there are several bad options that Amazon could go with, but there are three that are growing in popularity. The first is Aru Iluvatar himself, aka God. I don't believe Rings of Power would take the show in this direction. For one, Hollywood isn't exactly a beacon of Christian ideology. Promoting too much of that imagery, even in a show, based on a story heavily influenced by the faith would be a step too far for them. Next is Sauron. He's a known enemy of the people of Middle-earth. He goes about in disguise and he befriends those unable to see past his masquerade. But there's no mention that I've ever found of his traveling by meteor or arriving in a manner that would mimic such a thing. There are also scenes that suggest this character is befriending the Hobbit, one race I can't imagine Sauron even wasting his time with at this point. And last but not least, and they had absolutely better not do this, but Gandalf the Grey. This choice is quickly becoming a fan favorite among non-fans because he's a known and beloved character from Peter Jackson's trilogy. He's a wonderful character in the books as well, but here's the problem. Gandalf, then known as Oloran, his reluctant arrival occurs in the Third Age, after, well after, thousands of years after the events of this series. Oloran was one of several Istari, or wizards, self-incarnate Maiar, think lore angels, sent as emissaries to Middle-earth with a singular purpose in mind to enhance the resistance of the elves, who are at this point waning in power, and enhance the resistance of those men who were yet uncorrupted, all in the fight against Sauron. In the essay on the Astari, it's said that they belonged solely to the Third Age and then departed. So while Gandalf's exact arrival is uncertain, it's pretty clear it would be sometime in the Third Age, which from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, isn't part of this show. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Rings of Power showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay were asked if they would bring Gandalf or two other wizards, Saruman and Radagast, to Middle-earth before the Third Age. McKay's response was simply that those three wizards are, and I quote, not the only beings in that class. Given the timing of their arrival and the context in which they're sent, inserting any of them in this show would completely undermine Tolkien's vision of their role and responsibility in the larger story. Of course, respecting that story isn't exactly something these creatively bankrupt narcissist vultures could even conceive of. Why not just randomly and quite literally toss a wizard into the middle of Middle-earth for no apparent reason. You know they would, I know they would. But doing so is one heck of a bad idea. Exploiting yet another of Tolkien's characters after having already wrecked his work beyond recognition would only compound the justified hate they are already receiving. 
But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this absolute insanity that we may see in Rings of Power. Let's discuss in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.